A well-executed breakout is critical to team success. A well-executed investment plan is critical to financial success. Let me develop a plan with your goals in mind. John Moore for sportsandmore.com. Caleb Boudreau, the Newbridge Academy Player of the Week. Uh, congratulations, Caleb. Tell me about the, the decision to come to Newbridge. Here you are in your first year. Uh, thanks, and uh, my decision to come to Newbridge, it was either this or play major midget, and we, me and my family, we thought about it a lot, and we thought that this was a better option for me with the schooling and hockey. Tell me about the adjustment here in academics, uh, high expectation. Uh, it's... The adjustment was a little bit tough. It's a harder than normal school, but it's going pretty good in the classroom. As for on the ice, uh, here you are in, in February now. Tell me about the, the, the improvement, the progress that you feel. Uh, it's good here. I've been working with uh, my D coach, Cody, on foot speed and getting faster, and I think the progression is going really good. What's the type of defense? Uh, What's the type of defenseman that you like to think you are in that new bridge lineup? Uh, I like to jump up in the rush, the offensive defense, but I do like to play defensive too, keep that good, and get goals when the team needs them and put up some big points when the team needs them. Well, tell me about uh, in the classroom, if you have interest, any particular strong interests? Uh, I like science, science my big subject it's where I get m my good grades so. how difficult is it to, to balance the two both they're both obviously very demanding uh, it's pretty good here Newbridge helps out a lot with on the bus and study halls and but it's it's good balance you know practice right after school get home study it's good Caleb what do you want to accomplish here uh, again before the end of the year in the, in the classroom academically and, and, and on the ice uh, on the ice, I just want to get seen, whether it's Q, Junior A, colleges, universities. In the classroom, just keep my marks high, get a good average at the end of the year. Do you have an eventual goal where you want to go in the, in the game itself? Well, I'll just play pro maybe at the end, but no short-term goals. Try and keep all my doors option, but play either Q, Junior A, NCAA, whatever it is. Play top-end hockey. Yeah, before I got here, you know, a lot of guys here talked to me about Caleb Boudreaux, the big, tall D man who could run a power play and is going to be uh, maybe a major junior player at one point. I didn't know anything about that. So uh, I see all the improvement, you know, right now that he's, uh, he's a skill, tall D man that needs, uh, needs a little bit more time to, uh, you know, to, to work on all his skill stuff and his footwork. But uh, he's a D man at six foot one, six foot two. Uh, that will be uh, will play at the next level for sure. Can you chart his his development since arriving in September? I see a lot. I see a lot that um, you know, Caleb. Just the way he handles himself on the ice. Uh, the beginning was a little shy, I think, uh, on the ice and off the ice. Being my captain too this year. Uh, in the next couple, in the in the last couple months, he's been uh, opening himself on the ice and off the ice, and I see big, big improvement in his game. And, uh, Again, I guess uh, at the end of the year, you'll look back and try to see how successful he's been, but your, your team as well. How do you plan on measuring his, his success? Yeah, uh, again, that's another guy that came here uh, and was a little upset not playing a major midget caliber, even if we are major midget caliber, so not playing U18. But uh, that's going to help him a lot being a leader, a top defenseman in the U16 for next year and the future uh, in his hockey career. Um, it's uh, it's uh, a little slower game as a U16 uh, caliber, but it's good for him because now he can, uh, can you know, show his, uh, his skills offensively and defensively too.